Hi everyone, I hope you're all. Well. This is Coins Kid. Just come down to Bitcoin. We've got the Coins Kid crew. So I've posted lots of altcoin setups in the Discord there for the Coins Kid crew. Um, lots of beautiful little setups on some of these altcoins. Uh, looking pretty tasty, to be honest with you. But one thing we definitely want to see is the breakdown in the DSY. And that's exactly what's happened here. We've put in a new yearly low for the DSY. So this thing's looking to continue. Like I said to you, it's got there a little bit uh, earlier than I expected, to be honest with you. We've got this big head and shoulders pattern, the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. We've lost this support. So technically, we're losing support right Right now and we look like we're going to get to a technical target don't we roughly around about 99.36 and have a little bounce around possibly break back up into the resistance back test it at some point and then ride these waves as and when they come but so far so good you know and what i'm looking for is the, the sort of big tick the big looking glass for this massive move for the remainder of the year for bitcoin okay so obviously it's got that key resistance that needs to break out i'll show you that again in a moment but i think if we can see bitcoin come up and take that resistance out i think we could be in for a massive move here and, and this particular chart has just been showing us the you know sh leading the light down the end of the tunnel basically to this potential big big power move that's coming for bitcoin when people least expect it okay so again nothing i say is financial advice you know it's all data not emotion and so far so good we're breaking down here so this is a new yearly low this is bearish uh, for the dsy which is in you know inversely correlated to risk which means it's bullish basically really is that simple so what i'm looking at as a scenario uh, what happened in way back here in 2017 this came down and then in 2018 uh, 2020 sorry this came down as well and each time that it did come down to the end target where it bottomed out create a reversal and come back up this was just a good time to be in bitcoin if we drop the bitcoin chart on right now uh, just a new price to scale you can clearly see you know as we're coming down this came up and is this coming down this came up and so far as this is coming down this is coming up really a simpler case so we're just looking for the continuation of this breakdown in the dsy towards the dotted line towards the end of the year right there and this is where i think we'll begin to reverse on the dsy and then obviously then bitcoin will begin to reverse in itself as well so at the minute we just have to respect the data and so far so good the dsy is breaking down so in theory bitcoin should be looking to break out now it is running to a key level of resistance we're going to show you that right now but please def do definitely get involved in the discord right there there's lots of beautiful altcoin setups also intraday trades i've been posting lots in there there's a coin in that I posted yesterday there's around about five percent up already from yesterday's post so these are just little possibilities and opportunities that exist on the daily time frame like I said to you you can make money going long or short you know riding the waves and you can use them fantastic exchanges like Bybit, BitGet, Mexi, KuCoin they're all in each and every single video description but let's dive into a couple more charts before I dive into the Bitcoin shot to just add confluence to my theory that this is breaking down for the remainder of the year and we're looking at a massive meteoric rise here for Bitcoin with a potential to break the high in that wave five uh, scenario that I've been looking at for a very long time okay let's dive into the charts so the first chart you know is the s p 500 i've been showing you for a very long time we've got the bullish cross the 20 and the 55 year made a buy and go to the beat signal from coins kid on the s p 500 and so far i think we're roughly up from that signal around about uh, 10 percent right there for the s p 500. now this signal we looked at the historical data for this particular signal way back when it was formed and we went out to go back all the way to the 50s which is 18 instances of it that you know that the last time it didn't it wasn't fruitful basically so you know so far so good we've got to respect the data we're breaking out, like I said, if we take out that level of resistance just there, then this will begin to increase increase the probability that that's a way free, and we should be looking to come up, take out the one fib, and a minimal target would be one two seven two five two five nine. So so far so good. Okay, now you know. Let's jump into another chart and show you a little bit more confidence to the massive move that we could be going through towards the end of the year here uh, for risk appetite. So this chart is a Dow. Basically, at the moment, we've got an inverse head and shoulders. It looks like it might start to bubble up here, coil up, and then break out. So if we do get the breakout, then I think we're putting a new all-time high for the Dow. Break that resistance. I think I'm looking at around about 37610 uh, for the Dow. And if you take a look, we've got the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5. So like I've always said to you, always look to counter five waves. This basically came down to that neckline. So swing high, swing low, find support, up you go. So it's looking to break and get towards that level if we begin to take this level out here because it's a, it's a technical target of an inverse a head and shoulders pattern which is a bullish pattern basically you coil up left shoulder head right shoulder coil up bump see you later we've traded many of these in the past okay so this is just adding more confluence to the fact that i think we've got some kind of big big sort of push here that began from way back last year okay when the dsy began to break down you know so we're looking pretty okay providing we can see the continuity inside of these charts that i'm showing you okay so let's dive into the bitcoin chart right now and see what we can see 
So looking at Bitcoin on the weekly time frame, we are in a buy and go to the beach signal from CoinSkid right now, and they are actually, you know, they're like rocking all shit for Bitcoin. It's so far so good. We've corrected back into that golden signal, and right now we should, in theory, be looking to come upstairs. You know, the, the fruits of that signal should be in front of us, basically, just like the previous buy and go to the beach way back there in April 2020 after that big capitulation, the corona dump, the fear, the blood, V-shaped out of there, fell back into it, and then we took off. So in theory, we're at sort of same level. And I've gone through all this analysis with you, not only in the chart, and above the EMAs, equally in the RSI. We've been looking at the RSI's confluence as well, okay? So, so far, so good. Until we lose this signal, I can't be bearish on Bitcoin. It really is that simple because we've got the beautiful buy and go to the beach signal from CoinsKid, which, like I've said to you, they're like rocking all shit. So the last time we got this one, it led to a, led to a massive impulsive wave. And this, right, this one right now, it could be a looking glass to a massive impulsive wave for Bitcoin, okay? So my theory is that from this low here, this bear market capitulation where we've come down, we've got the double bottom we came back up we back tested the double bottom neckline in a back test of support and then we broke out in a massive wave three so i think from 2018 we've been in a larger cycle that peaks up here towards the end of 2023 to early 2024 and what we've got is a massive impulsive wave one abc corrective wave two huge impulsive wave three a regular corrective wave four, the bottom just there, and right now we're looking to come upstairs impulsively and potentially put a new all-time high in by the end of the year and obviously early in next year because of what I'm seeing in other charts, DXY, uh, the S&P, the Dow, things like that, you know, and, and altcoin setups that I'm looking at as well. That I think that this has just been a big, a regular correction within a larger bull market, you know, a cycle, peak-to-peak -peak cycle theory, like I've said to you so many times. It's just increasing every cycle by two years the first cycle was two years the second cycle was four years and the, the final cycle here the third cycle which we're actually in is just a six-year peak-to-peak cycle okay so this is a fear i've had for a very 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 long time I made multiple videos and posts on it on twitter and youtube and things like that but so far so good and one thing i wanted to see off this impulsive move here which would potentially bring for bitcoin is the golden cross the buy and go to the beach signal we got it on the wave one we got it on the wave three and right now we're looking at this wave five and we've got the golden signal right there so until we lose this support of the 20 week ema and the 55 week ema i have to project to the upside it doesn't make me a permeable okay and the minute it changes the minute we lose that then i'll be bearish okay but so far so good this is why i think bitcoin could be on the cusp of a major major breakout but one key level of resistance i'm looking to break to absolutely confirm that bitcoin's really really bullish it's not necessarily this resistance here it's this resistance here this low that we put in in january 2022 i would like to see bitcoin take that out at 299 Two for it, three two nine nine two. I think we take that out. Bitcoin could run quite ferociously, and it really is that simple in a massive wave five here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that update. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay tuned. Take care, everyone. Back to another update on Bitcoin. Bye bye.